Jesus Christ was born in Crimea and was crucified in 1185 in Constantinople. Moreover, Jesus Christ is the Viking god Odin, the Roman Emperor Gaius Julius Caesar and the Egyptian Queen Cleopatra. Simultaneously, this is not science fiction, this is the interpretation of the history by Russian scientists. Anatoly Fomenko and Gleb Nosovsky work at Moscow State University. They are supporters of the idea of a new chronology of history. They say that everything written in school textbooks and world history lies and delusions. Fomenko and Nosovsky say they determined the correct course of history. With calculations and date comparisons, scientists realized that people appeared only thousand years ago. We've invented a new so-called short chronology. We attributed dates of all the events significantly later than everyone previously thought. This is what Anatoly Fomenko said at the end of 2019 in Yaroslavl during the opening of the new chronology museum. And according to this theory, the Trojan War and the Crusades are the same event. Islam, Buddhism and Judaism came from Christianity. The Latin alphabet appeared approximately in the 15th century and it was invented by the bishop of the Russian Orthodox Church. Genghis Khan's real name was Georgi Danilo and he was the founder of Russia. And Russia, in fact, is a horde that crossed the Bering Strait and discovered America. And then there were the Incas, Aztecs, Maya, and only after the horde rose, America was discovered by Christopher Columbus. Not a Spaniard of Italian descent, but a native of Moldova. This is only part of tall stories that Fomenko and Nosovsky can tell. But they not only tell, they also write books. More than a hundred tomes were published over the past 20 years. Their books, by the way, are also among the museum's exhibits. Any science should face a revolution. The only science that hasn't seen it, revolution was delayed, so to speak, is history. People calculated something since the 17th century using those methods of 17th century and continued to live in this world at the level of science of 17th century. It's really outdated. Russians like to rewrite history and appropriate things that don't belong to them. Remember Peter the Great, the Russian emperor who, seeing how people in the West live, set out to cut a window to Europe. At that time it was the state of Muscovy, with its capital in Moscow. No special victories except for several centuries of life as vassals of the Mongol Tatars. And the real sample of victories and successes was nearby. We're talking about Kievan Rus, a state that existed in the current territory of Ukraine with its capital in Kyiv. It was known and respected in Europe. It is interesting that on the Icelandic Viking map of the 13th century there are only three cities in Europe – Rome, Constantinople and Kyiv. And there it is stated that there is Rus. It was written in Russia. This doesn't mean Russia, it's just a Latin transfer of the Rus. So Peter wanted to be known and respected. He changed name Muscovy to Russia. He even paid European cartographers to write not Muscovy but Russia. Catherine II was the same as Peter the Great. She also understood that if there is nothing good in her history, then she should take someone else's. And when someone opened his mouth and went against her, she immediately got rid of him. With centuries passing by, more Russians believed that they were descendants of Rus, although, in fact, they were descendants of the Horde. Obviously, that is why they did not learn their true history or what was stolen from Ukrainians. Therefore, they probably don't know that Rus was baptized by Prince Volodymyr of Kyiv in 988. Most likely, she did not forget, but did not know. Just as Russians do not need to know their scientists and their achievements. At least Dmitry Mendeleev, who is the author of the table of chemical elements. Самое знаменитое открытие Менделеева. Таблица. Водка. Карта. 
That's what they're interested in and what they know. Why study history? Why know what happened and when it belonged to whom? The Russians have their own historical guru. Putin. He makes brilliant hour-long history lessons online before bombing a neighboring state. And the truth, as they believe, can be heard only from Putin. He claims that Lenin founded Ukraine. And the Russians believe. Although who is Lenin, the Russians also do not know very well. Except that his relics lie in the mausoleum in Moscow.